And I think I just let someone go by into my vent. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the game Salmon, and welcome to Jolly Bees. This, of course, is the fourth installment in the Five Nights at Jolly series, and oh my god, look at this bee! The demo just dropped, and we are ready to take on the little bit of the story mode that we have available to us. Guys, if you are excited for this video, or if you just like Five Nights at Jollies in general, please be sure to hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comment section which Jolly Bee game is your favorite in the series. All right, story mode. Ooh, new game. Find the office. Okay. So this doesn't seem like it's gonna be following the Five Nights at Freddy's kind of style of game. Or or will it? I mean I do have to find the office. I'm not sure where I'm going though. Everything kinda looks the same and boring. Authorized personnel only. Oh, I, I swore that this was gonna be the office. Is there anything I can maybe like pick up? And I really hope there's not an animatronic after me right now. That would really be the worst. A few moments later. I did it! <laughs> I made it to the office! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, except. Hello, hello. Hey, you're the new guy, right? That's great. Not that many have approached us for this job. Ooh. It's just so boring, you know? I mean, you're stuck in an office for six hours, watching for something to happen. It's insane that you even get money for that. Anyways, did you know that there's something special about the animatronics here? Um, there are the first ever animatronics built with free roam features that don't fail every ten seconds. Oh, features God. now, eh? They're also the first that were built with advanced AI. In fact, they're so advanced, you might think a soul is inside controlling everything. Uh, now, concerning the animatronics, um, our recent guard reported that the animatronics, yeah, they've been moving during the night for some reason. He said that the closest they got to him was the hall in front of him. Heck, they even tried to climb in the vents. And after that, they just stare. After hearing that, we've started taking some measures. Our engineers put blocking systems in the vents, which is pretty easy to access through the camera. But don't shut too many vents, though. Um, we've noticed that the blocking system seems to block the incoming air as well. Your vision's going to become all dark and blurry. Trust me, it's not going to be good for you. Yeah, the building isn't that well ventilated, as you can probably tell. Now, in case that the animatronics ever get in your door, you can turn off the lights in your office as long as you're not too late. They'll How? think that there is no person inside, and, uh, I think you get the point. If you look over to your left, you'll see a vent that lets air into your office. We've tested the animatronics on certain light conditions, and it seems that they, um, reboot their system and go back to their respective places once you shine a really bright light into their eyes. Um, except for that other one. So in case there's an animatronic in your left vent, you can just shine your light on it, and it'll go away momentarily. Okay. Now, if you look to your right, however, you'll see a big window. That window leads to our parts and service room. She's supposed to be together with Torley, the girl on Camp 9, but she isn't acting right recently. Sometimes she's singing and sometimes she's just not responding. So our solution is to put her near the window so you can calm her down using the flashlight. It's sure. really hard to catch her once she gets away. She crawls in one of the three vents near her. Blocking her gets really painful, literally. Now remember, seal a vent if absolutely necessary. You don't want to pass out, do you? No. Oh, I almost forgot. We blew a fuse this morning in Yum's party room. Can you check that out before you go? I'm sure Where? the animatronics won't cause you any danger at that time. All right. Good night. I'm sorry. Whose room? Popo's playroom? Who is this? Oh, Yum's party room? Did you say Yum? I'm not sure what's going on. All right, I gotta check the sides. And then I can turn off my power. Can I turn it back on? Oh, I can turn it back on! I <laughs> All right, all right, we're in the game. Oh, someone left! Yum left. Oh God, oh God, oh God. So if someone's in front of me, I turn off the power. Okay, all right. This kind of feels like a prequel 
into the jolly series. <laughs> I think I- ah! <laughs> Can you stop? Ah! I don't mean to keep pressing control! I'm just freaking out! Alright, everyone stay back! Everyone stay back! You don't want the salmon! You don't want none of the salmon! Oh god! Wait, what does this say? <laughs> I don't like- <laughs> Now into the vent! Okay. I'm fine. Um, everything's okay. I'm gonna be just fine. Is there a point to me having to go into the camera right now for this night at least? Can I just, can I just keep doing this? Is anyone gonna appear in front of me? I'm assuming that it ends. Oh, Jesus. I'm assuming that everything ends at 6 a.m., right? Because if, if it goes to like something funky like 7 a.m. Oh, that's actually a good look of you. All right. You go away. All right, we have only one more minute. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could just shut the vent right here. I'm actually gonna try shutting a vent. Here, let me just shut down the vent. I know that's gonna affect my breathing, at least a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect it. So if I open up the vent, maybe my breathing will return. Yeah, okay, my breathing Reju uh, like replenishes. Okay, that's fine. And Jolly, I'm pretty sure I won't have to worry about. Okay, 20, like 26 seconds left. We should be good for the night. I'm just trying to explore all the possible avenues of how they're going to come kill me. And I think most of them are just gonna try to come through the door up front right here. I don't know what Jolly's gonna do. Jolly's gonna do something funky, but now we have beaten the night! Oh, uh, that's me pressing control. I scared myself. That's okay. 6 a.m. <laughs> Alright. That wasn't too bad. Yay. Alright, night two. Ugh. Okay. Incoming call from the manager. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey there. How's it going? Eh. Um. I forgot to tell you about that one animatronic that doesn't seem to deal well with the flashlight. It's called Popo, the kid in blue on Cam 3. If he happens to be at the vent in your office, just don't flash your light at him. Somehow it becomes more aggressive toward bright lights. So it's important to not confuse him with the other one on Cam 2. He's called Yum, by the way. Uh, your task for today is to repair the water pipes. The maintenance panel is located in Twirly Show Stage. You'll know where to go what? from there. Alright, good night. How do I fix things? <laughs> Was that Jolly? <gasps> You're gone! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh shut up, man. You're not getting in! Oh, I don't mean to keep pressing that button! Alright. I. New! No. I'm done with this game. I'm so done. I. Am, I don't know. Oh god, I'm, I'm dying! Okay, open the vent back up. Right, everyone, just stay back, please. Everyone, please just back off. You don't want any of this salmon. You really don't. I'm. I don't taste all that good. I just feel like I'm gonna die at any second. It just feels like I missed something. Hi there. I'm gonna block you off real quick. Are you the one that the dude told me that doesn't like the the flashlight, or he becomes more aggressive with the flashlight? I don't keep meaning to turn off the power. Get your hand off the button. Well, what I'm doing right now is working, so I'm gonna keep up this pattern. Keep <laughs> me. Can you please stop? Where did where did this girl go? I'm really concerned because she's not in the parts and service room anywhere. <gasps> Shut that off. Maybe that's her. Maybe maybe the person showing up at my door right there is the girl from the parts and service room, and I think I just let someone go by into my vent. Mm, that's not. Good. <laughs> 
you got killed by Hetty. Well, Hetty's mean. So if Hetty leaves her window, the only defense that I have left is by sealing the vent that she's on. I will keep that in mind next time. This game is based off of the restaurant Jollibee's. Were these actual characters like Hetty and Yum and like what? Wait, what other characters do we have? Popo and Twirly. Are these real characters? Sit back down. That's Jolly. That's just straight up Jolly. I didn't think Jolly was gonna be active this night. Sit back down. Get out of here. I'm not dealing with any of your shenanigans right now. I'm just not, okay? I'm not gonna die again this night. It's really scary. We have about 20 seconds left. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not dealing with your shenanigans. Get out of here. Sit back down. Check my vent. Check over here. We should be good. We got 10 seconds. Let's go. Five seconds. I got it. Oh, night two complete. That should be the end of the demo. Confetti! Yay, I love that. End of demo. Thanks for playing this two night demo. But there will be much more features added in the full release. But stay tuned for now. Ivan G, the developer. I gotta say, it's looking pretty good so far. It doesn't feel as complicated as Jolly 3 or Jolly 2, which I think is a good thing. I think that things have been simplified a little bit, but I can definitely see where more features are going to be added, more gameplay is going to be added. I, you know, I'm curious of what all of these are, probably like an extras and maybe a custom knife and maybe like, you know, something else secret that maybe we've never seen in a Five Nights at Freddy's game before. Who knows? Who knows what this bee is gonna give us? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also be sure to like the video, subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>